Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my Reindeer Bermuda Triangle deck profile for June 2018. I've been wanting to give you guys this deck profile for a while, finally got around just to uh, finishing up the deck. Probably one of the last decks I do before we jump right into the uh, standard format for this channel, but it's a really awesome deck. We got some cool support for the Reindeer deck uh, as a whole uh, with a lot of the cards from the latest Diva Festa set. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So to start off, I run four Song of Gracious Reindeer. This is your reindeer stride that you run. Basically, you counter blast one, soul blast one, choose a face down card with the same card name as this unit from your G zone, turn it face up. When you drive check and reveal a grade three, if you have a heart uh, with reindeer in its card name, you need to pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one of your rear guards, return it to your hand, and this unit gets plus 3,000 and a drive plus one uh, until the end of that battle. So it's really good just for the additional um, drive check options you have, and it's not a once per turn either, so you can keep unflipping reindeers uh, with the more grade threes. And with the reindeer deck, you have so many cards that count as grade three when you drive check them, so you're definitely guaranteed to let this effect go off and just let loose on your opponent, making sure you get the triggers that you want with these cards. And I also run four uh, School at Toil Olivia, uh, pretty standard generic support to run with the Reindeer deck since it's not a Harmony deck, so you can't really run too too many of the Harmony cards, and it's not two shoes either, so you can't make full use of them. So Olivia is still good for backup stride options. Uh, same with Angie, uh, just one of this as well. You don't need anything with the same card name. You can flip anything up with Angie, uh, just the errata text, remember that. So just more options to go off of with this card as well. Uh, I don't have Megiddo uh, in the deck, but if I were to run it, I would just take out Alprina for it. It's just a unflip option as well for the Angie, but um, like I said, if you have Megiddo, you can definitely put it in for this instead. And also one Priscilla, this is the uh, Generation Break 8 uh, card, just really good pressure if you can get to it fast enough, and you definitely can when you fully use your Reindeer Stride. Mixed in with the G-Guards, you can go into this second or third stride if you do it right. And for the G Guardians, I run two Luxury Wave Valley, probably the best G Guardian out there. It's just so good with its um, shield effects and being able to place yourself back face down to reuse G Guardians and just easy shield depending on what Sentinels you have as well in your drop zone or other G Guards face up. And also two Leona, uh, it's the bounce guard effect, so more easy shields and good ways to bounce your rear guards. And also one Blessed Sparkle Sandy, the unflip for plus 5,000, um, basically with the counter charge, and then also additional plus 5,000 for every two cards in your hand. So more shield options, unflip your other G-guards for faster plays as well. And then you can reflip them with Ellie, obviously, so you can always have full use of all your uh, G-guards with your heals. And that's it for the stride zone. Moving on to the main deck, I run four Velvet Voice Reindeer. This is actually the old reindeer remade into a new card. You choose a card from your hand and discard it. When you drive, check, and reveal this card, you may pay the cost. If you do choose one of your units with reindeer in its card name, it gets plus five and a critical until the end of the turn. And when this unit is placed on Vanguard or when your G unit strides, you choose one of your Vanguards and gets when it drive checks and reveals a grade three. All of your rear guards get plus 5,000 till the end of the turn. So you have rear guard plus pressure by either riding this card or striding over it and the fact that it kind of counts like a, tri a critical trigger when you drive check it just makes it an extra bonus uh, to fully make use of with this deck for sure a definite you know boost from the old reindeer effect for sure and i also run four uh peaceful voice reindeer the backup grade three um, you choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul when you drive check and reveal a grade three uh, You may pay the cost if you do choose up to one of your rear guards return it to your hand Then if there's a card named velvet voice reindeer in your soul or trigger zone This unit gets drive plus one until the end of that turn more pressure options, especially with that uh, reveal grade three effect. And you other effect is from rear. Counter blast two at the end of the battle. Your drive check revealed a card with reindeer in its card name. If this unit is stand, you may pay the cost. If you do, move this unit to your vanguard and it gets drive minus one. So just more additional power plays with your other reindeer vanguard with this one. Making full use of it being stood, being able to put on your vanguard and get another attack off is pretty insane. 
Uh, that's it for the grade threes. For the grade twos, I run four in spec sister Robel. It counts as a grade three, basically, in the trigger zone. And for a soul blast, you put this unit on the bottom of your deck when this unit attack hits a vanguard. Uh, if you have a vanguard with reindeer and its card name, you pay the cost. If you do, draw two cards and shuffle your deck. So plus two power as well as clearing up your field. Um, can't go wrong with it since it also counts as a grade three. So it's an additional one for all your reindeer effects to go off. And I also run four Shyness uh, Laguna Lapla. You Soul Blast one when your drive check reveals a grade three card. If you have a Vanguard with Reindeer in its card name, you may pay the cost. Uh, if you do, choose up to one of your cards from your hand. Call it to an open rear and have that unit get plus two to the end of the turn. It's more call options with pressure for sure, which is why I like to run her. You just have those. And what's great about all these is they don't have GB effects as well, so you can make full use of them in this deck with their abilities and not have to rely on stride if you don't. So early game pressure is pretty awesome with this deck. And lastly, for the grade twos, uh, three Happy Ears Melville. When your drive check reveals a grade 3 card, if you have a Vanguard with Reindeer in its card name, you may return this card to your hand. If you do, choose up to two of your units, they get plus 3. So, more bounce options uh, with the drive check revealing with this card, just for additional power. So, maybe some of your 9Ks that don't have the boosts can definitely hit uh, the Vanguard otherwise with this. And for the grade ones, I run four Dash Sister uh, Rabble. It has the same grade three options when you drive check it. It gets grade plus two, making a grade three when you drive check it. And you can put this unit on the bottom of your deck when your drive check reveals a grade three. If you have a Vanguard with Reindeer and its card, then you can pay the cost. If you do draw a card, shuffle your deck and counter charge. Now with the one effect for the other grade three Reindeer, um, you can definitely use up your counter blasts pretty fast. And um, this just helps to make up for that for sure. But you run so many cards that count as grade three, like I said, you're guaranteed to get those options off. And I also run three Piping Hot Sufa. Um, your unit with Velvet Voice Reindeer and its card name in this column gets plus 1,000. It's a continuous rear guard effect, so if you put this behind uh, the new Velvet Voice Reindeer, you're making it a 12k permanently, so pretty good going up against some of the 21k attacks, guarding with um, a card and being able to stop it for one to pass with those alone. And you also have the uh, move options with her other effect. Um, you move in the same column as this unit stand. It gets plus 4,000 when you drive check and reveal grade 3. So being able to move her around to readjust some of your boosts also does come in handy a lot. And I also run 3 Talent of Perseverance Shandi. It's your stride fodder. Easiest way since you want to make full use of the grade 3s in the deck with their own effects, obviously. If you have the multiple Velvet Royce Reindeers, you can stride with those. But just more stride options um, really does help because those are a big part of your plays, especially with the new Velvet Voice Reindeer. And I also run 4 Image Master Kukuri. Um, counter charge, perfect guard, pretty much. You don't really um, need to protect your rear guard reindeers as much as you used to before, so you don't really need the um, old alley perfect guards as much as the counter charge definitely does help. And that is it for the grade ones. Moving on to the grade zeros, I run for your starter the new Restful Music Rumi. When you drive check and reveal a grade three card, you choose one of your cards with Reindeer and its card name from your drop zone, and you may return it to your hand. So recycle options, especially with this card, definitely does help. And once per turn uh, from the rear, you can choose a grade three card from your hand and discard it. If you have a Vanguard with Reindeer and its card name, you may put this card into your soul. If you do, counter charge one. Uh, great options with this card for the recycle and the counter charge. It just basically answers a lot of answers. Uh, answers a lot of answers that. Um, this deck needs for a lot of its soul problems, its counter charging, a great solution for sure for the reindeer deck. And then for the triggers, I run four Dinky Echoes Para. This is the critical trigger if you have a Vanguard with Reindeer in its card name. Uh, this unit gets grade plus three. So uh, along with being a critical trigger, it also counts as a uh, grade three when you drive check it. So you'll get that ability as well as some of your other ones off when you drive check it. And I also run Four, Totege, Beat, Airy. I don't have the counter charge one in this deck, otherwise I would swap it out. Four, uh, that, just so you can run full criticals with effects in this deck, because 12 crits the best way to go with the Reindeer Stride, and it's options just for, um, you know, basically going out and making sure you get all your triggers. Definitely does come in handy. 
and also for popping Melody Layla. Um, just options, it's always nice to have the triggers with the effects in the deck just so you can um, get those options if you need them. You don't run too, too many cards in the main deck with the GB2 abilities, but if you ever have the stride go on with those effects, like I said, definitely does help um, when this card is boosting for sure. So uh, just remember that when using it. And lastly, the four heal triggers. I have Penoletta in this, but if you have the effect heals, the counter charge ones, or the ones for the discard for the G guard, obviously better substitutes than this one for sure. In the deck, um, like I said, just to go and make sure you have all triggers with um, effect options. But yeah, that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, uh, very excited for a standard format coming up. Be sure to look forward to all those deck profiles as well as, you know, play videos and all that. Just want to get out another deck profile until, you know, the release of the trial decks. Uh, but until then, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Qualia out.